For me, the, the leadership means being a, of service, and that's the way I view my position. I'm here to support the students, support the faculty and staff, and to ensure that they have uh, the equipment, supplies, materials, the buildings that they need to be successful. Please join me in welcoming our president, Dr. Robert Martin. Well, uh, thank you. And OCO, congratulations, class of 2017. And this gathering certainly is a celebration of your success and honoring in recognition of your achieving your academic goals at the Institute of American Indian Arts. Well, I had been interested in Indian education. I looked at, uh, you know, some of the statistics and some of the horror stories about what was going on at the boarding schools. Uh, so I knew that in a position as president, I, I would be able to, to make some changes, make some improvements and move things forward. It seems like I've been really fortunate, been blessed to have been in the right place at the right time to be of service, both at Sippy and then on at Haskell and then at Tonawatum Community College and then here. I think our mission is unique. You won't find other programs, especially fine arts programs that are offered from a Native American perspective. And so uh, that makes our museum studies unique, our film program unique uh, across the board. So I think too, if you look back on the history with Lloyd Kiva New, our visionary founder that gave us our philosophy, but the difference was that culture was celebrated. And for Lloyd Kiva New, it was actually the, the source of the cultural heritage of our students was the source of their creativity. But that was just a springboard to go forward with uh, their originality and innovation in art. And so that was totally different from any other BIA boarding school or day school or whatever. Culture was celebrated. So this is the birthplace of contemporary Native art. I mean, Dr. Martin is just, he's just amazing. I mean, he really is. Uh, if you look around at our campus, most of these buildings have come under his leadership. And the programs that have been developed have come under his leadership. Whatever it is, we've got state-of-the-art facilities. We're incorporating technology into everything that we do. That's a real plus here at the Institute of American Arts. You know, I'm not an artist myself, but I really appreciate what art brings to our society and especially to Native communities and know how important it is. I think it is encouraged for for an artist, uh, no matter what the medium, to be able to express their emotions, how, how they're feeling about things, make political statements. It, it's a way to express themselves and not have to hold it within. Wilma Mankiller was uh, a frequent speaker on my campus, and uh, she said that in terms of the value of education, whoever controls the education controls the future of our children. And that's why it's so important for uh, Native American communities, tribal nations, to work toward controlling the education of their children. Well, the students are why we're here, so one of our priorities is student success of so whatever we can do. I hope that they go and, one, that they're happy and enjoy life. And a lot of people ask me, well, how long are you going to continue as president of the Institute of American Arts? And I say, as long as I enjoy it. So first thing, I hope they enjoy whatever they're doing and surround themselves as, as much as possible with positive people and positive things and have that kind of outlook. Uh, but I hope they're in a position, and I think among our graduates today, I know that they're gonna make a difference where they go. It is an honor for me to present to you on behalf of the faculty of the Institute of American Indian Arts our 2016 and 2017 graduates. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree as indicated on your diploma. You can now move your tassels to the left. Congratulations, graduates.
I think I was introverted, shy, quiet, but I, you know, I could empathize and identify with our students today that, you know, in terms of finding the voice and uh, it's easy to look at the history of Native Americans and Cherokee Nation and say, uh, you know, we've got a limited time here and we can, we can make a big difference.